Hey, good morning, y'all. So let's roll outdoors. Going out on a boat today. We're going to go uh, trolling for some king mackerel, bottom fishing for some grouper, and see what else may happen out there, all right? So that's where we're at. We're at the ramp right now, using the headlights as my uh, camera light, and we're going to troll, all right? Let's troll. Here we go. We're going to try to get some men in here in the throw net. You see them popping on the surface. You'll see them flicker right along the surface here. So I've seen a few flick. I'm going to back it up here and throw the net. Bad throw. Bad throw. We'll see. We'll see. We just had some flick right behind us here. Yeah, here. See what you get. Yeah, I'm coming. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna move right into the middle there. There you go. We're about to bust out at New River Inlet here in North Carolina, the middle of October. Looking like a nice day so far. Bait in the live well, rigs are ready to go. Now we just got to put some fish in the boat. Go! All right, we're here. We made it out. It's about 10 miles out right now, 50 to 60 feet of water. We got the first bait down. Live menhaden on a downrigger. Nose. Make sure it's setting really good. And the second hook, you can either hook it on the fish, but I like to leave it where he's hanging. <laughs> All right, now we got a double rig here. Look at that. I think we got a little sardine on each hook. Trying a couple different baits here. All right, this is a downrigger. It pulls the line down and has a little clip. And once that fish hit, it pops out of that clip so you can fight it on the rod. Now, how deep you putting those down, Steve? How deep are you putting those? 20 foot. All right. 20 foot deep, that one is 30. All right, and then we're gonna run a couple, gonna run a couple rods up on top, and see what happens. Dang, rolling. Here we go. We got fish on. Hand it off the rod. So, so this is a team team sport. So while one guy's fighting, somebody else got to be driving, somebody else pulling in the rods, and I'm here filming. Watch that buoy, bro. Yeah, I am. Reverse, reverse. Reverse, reverse. Yeah. They're fishing around this buoy here. It looks like the fish is trying to get up around there. All right, we're gonna see what the what we can do here. That's not a, that's not a team. Not neutral. Fish got us in the buoy. Well, we messed that one up. We got him around the buoy. Screaming line. That's a smart fish went straight from that buoy. Yeah, we we tried. We tried. It was heavy though. I don't know, maybe an amberjack, maybe a big king, who knows? We'll never know, got on that buoy. Maybe I was messing around too much trying to film. I had the rod first, and instead of fighting it, I was trying to get that, uh, get the sound of the drag going there. Probably could have could have cranked on him a little bit earlier. Hey, that's fishing. All right, we're gonna get some baits in the water, try to get another one. All right, caught me with my mouth full. Just made a move, a few miles away. First drop out, just trolled up, trolled the ledge. And we got a screamer on. Doesn't seem that big, but we'll see, we'll see. Caught me snacking. We'll see what happens here. All right, got my man Joey up there fighting the fish.
Still got the clicker on. What do you want to do? We still left the other rods out. We still got two downriggers out. Okay, we got color down here. We got color. Nice little king, all right. All right, here we go. We've been pulling about 20 minutes. Came back over the same numbers we got the last hit. We just got hit again. Still got the clicker on the reel. On the reel. Makes it sound real exciting when you keep the clicker on. <laughs> okay, we see color. It looks like a small king. We're gonna have to measure this one. Measure this one. There we go. There we go. Put them in the net. Throw a ruler on them real quick. There you go. That's a king mackerel, folks. Small king mackerel. Just had another one hit. I got color. Got color. Over here. Coming back around the front. Looks like another little, maybe little little king. Just had a big strike here. I saw it jump out of the water. Yeah, I don't know what. The, I turned back and I looked back. All of a sudden, it's something out of the water. Coming off the left corner here. Now he's gaining, gaining some line on him. Coming into us. Got the boat in neutral here. Now oh, he's coming back now. All right, coming around, coming around. All right, got to bring up the downriggers. Here we go. All right, here we go, here we go. We just landed a huge Spanish. Look at that thing. Dang, nice Spanish on a Menhaden. And then while we're reeling up the Spanish, look, look, look at this amberjack coming up. Coming up after the, my bait hanging out here. Okay, we want to see if we could pull up some amberjacks here. All right, here we go, we got hooked up, double. Got a double. We had the downrigger take off. So we're fighting two fish right now, two fish. Yeah, so when you're fighting these kings, you don't really horse them. You use your drag, use the soft tip of the rod, and you play the fish, you play it. You don't just horse that thing in. Sometimes they'll surprise you. It may not seem like a big fish and you get it up and it's a 30, 40 pound king right in front of you. We just lost the one in the back, just lost them. They hit at the same time. And earlier today, we had some amberjacks come up behind the boat as we were reeling in another fish. So we think maybe we had a school of AJs come by and he just lost one. Okay, we got an amberjack here. All right, got an amberjack. Woo! Nice one. Here, check this thing out. There we go. Nice big AJ. They're yeah, they're good eating. A lot of people don't like to eat those because they find some worms in them. But there's plenty of good meat on an AJ. Yeah. Plenty of good meat. Look how fat that fish is. Plenty of meat on that sucker. Right. About 10 minutes later, hooked up again. Pretty good action here on our second spot. Oh, there he goes. A little choppy out here today. All right, we got color here. What is that, King? Yeah. All right. Is he foul hooked or something? I don't know, but 
He must be foul hooked. Oh, 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 There you go, nice little 10 pound king there. Nice one. Oh man. Dang, that was a oh man, we just had a, a brief spurt of excitement here. We, we were landing a king up here, about 10, 10 pound king. All of a sudden the rod that's right here in the middle of the boat, uh, just maybe out 20 yards, just got smoked. Handed the rod to me and all I did was hold it and the dang fish just came off, so. We need to hurry up and get some rods back out here, man. We're starting to get some uh, some pretty good action here. So, so far we've got a huge Spanish, a couple decent sized kings, uh, a good fat amberjack in there. Okay, thank you. And uh, man, we just had something screaming back here and he just got off. He just pulled right off. Dang. All right, we're well, hooked up again. That's gonna be the whole video. Hooked up again. Let's go to the back of the boat. Go to the back. Go, 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 come this way. Go, go. All right, we've been fighting for about 15 minutes now. He came up at one point and then took off again. This one might be a little bit longer. A little bit. There we go, got the gaff on him. All right. Woohoo! Where's he at? I got ah uh, self selfie cam. There we go. All right, another ten pounder. Cool, 10, 15 pound king. Yep. Rocking and rolling out here. Yeah, nice. All right, so here's what we're catching right here: king mackerels. Check them out. Yeah, look at them teeth. Awesome fish right here. Middle of October, North Carolina, wearing them out. Good king bite today. I like to get one of them uh, 30 to 50 pounders though, but these are uh, these are a lot of fun. And as long as they're biting, we'll keep catching them. Right, I'm gonna get another uh, another men hating out in the water. Get back after it. Hey y'all, what's up? Little update. We just moved spots. It's the middle of the day. Sun's out. Just dropped a bait back. And check this out. We're hooked up. Joey's back there reeling a the fish. That's screaming line. Awesome stuff. Sun's out, catching fish, doing all right today. All right, all right, we're getting an update. Joey says he sees a bit. Oh, nice king, nice king, easy. Easy, easy, easy. I did. Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Alright, alright! <laughs> yeah, look at that! Nice! <laughs> alright, alright! Hey, that was a first drop back! Like, we, we didn't even get to set up yet! Yeah! Alright, Joey! Oh my god, they're coming out on the bus! Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Nice fat king right there. Nice fall king right there. I my I see my You can't even talk. I seen I seen it. Yeah. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. All right. All right. Let's see him. All right. Powerful. Personal best. Personal best. All right. That's a 30 pounder. Yeah, I got oh. maybe more than 30 pounder. That's a 30, at hey, least. He crossed over here. I don't know what happened. Maybe 100 feet the Maya Florida. Oh, yeah. He couldn't keep up. Hey, awesome king action right there. I didn't even I didn't even get a chance to get set up. I'm doing the selfie cam here. We just put the first menhaden out. Dropped it back behind the uh, behind the boat. And dang sure enough, man, Joey says, oh, shoot. That Oh, we just had another one. We might be on a spot here. We might be on a good spot. If they're all 30 pounders like that, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> hey, I just dropped a menhaden right now. Just as soon as I push stop record, I hooked the menhaden on. 
dropped it back, and we're hooked up. Hooked up. Let me go this way, this way. All right, mine got off. I turned right back around. Steve's putting out another bait, and some monster fish just smacked it right behind the boat. All right now, we're in about 70 feet of water. Just working different ledges. All right, we've been at it about 15 minutes now. The fish is pitting up a good fight. All right, we're about 30 minutes into it now. And this fish don't want to come up. All right, I'm gonna put another bait out and I'll check in if we land this thing. All right, there he is, finally. Nice one. All right. All right, big fat AJ. <laughs> all right, so it was a big amberjack. I'll tell you what, if you never caught one of those before, you're missing out in life, all right? You gotta, you gotta get your full workout catching one of them jacks like that, an amberjack. Uh, any type of member of the Jack family, but those Amber Jacks are awesome, and they're good meat. We're gonna keep it, throw it in the fryer, throw it in the grill, something. All right, we are gonna uh, get some more baits out. Okay, so we're coming back into the dock. Tried the bottom fishing, no good. A few small groupers, and that was it. But we're gonna wrap it up with a quick little shot of our fish here. Check this out. Boom! Full load. Rolled out today. Spanish mackerel, huge. Some nice king mackerel. One was a monster. Guy right here in the middle. All right, I don't know, 30 pounder, 40 pounder. And then a couple good amber jets. And we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go home right now, clean them up, give them out to people, and cook up some fish.